Rickshaw here on the 7th of July, 2023. We've got some of them weird looking clouds. It almost looks like some, some of them chemtrail clouds. But uh, we had a pretty crazy rain earlier. It rained real hard for about a half an hour, quit. It's already dried up. That was a pretty, pretty wild rain. But we got our ECC. Uh, the little woman went down and got it yesterday. Not too much of a hassle. She was now there pretty quick. Uh, and we've got that. I got it in my papers. Uh, she was down there and the fellas told her we don't need to get this uh, online squiggly box thing. And I just said, you know what? I'm just going to get it. Because what happens here is one office is going to tell you you need it or you don't need it. And then you get to the next one, then they're going to say you need it. And I don't want to be down the airport with my you-know-what in my hand because they said you got to have it, and I don't. You know, this, this is what you run into in this place. So many people said you need this, you need that, and we'll find out when we get there. And I'll be honest with you, I don't even know if we're going to get the hell out of here yet. I won't know until I'm wheels up on the airplane that we're out of here because they just throw too much crap on you. I don't trust them to save my life. And, uh, you know, <laughs> I watched this thing on there. See, Filipinos have to assign blame on everything. So now, because the tourism way down, they're, they're blaming it on the slogan. So, you know, this uh, is more fun in the Philippines. So they got to ditch that. Oh, it's not anything that they're doing. It's not that they're making you jump through all these hoops to get in and get out. One of the only countries that make you do all this stuff yet. And, uh, you know, they're, they're screaming bloody murder because their tourism was way down. Well, I'll tell you what, guys, I'm just going to tell you, you come here, you do it at your own peril. You know, I've been warning people here for a long time of the different things going on. Personally, myself, if I'm allowed to leave here, and that's what it comes down to, if I'm allowed to leave. You know, they've had over 6,000 since the beginning of the year that just weren't allowed to leave. Sorry, you didn't do this, you didn't do that, you're not leaving, and you lose your flight tickets, you lose all this stuff just because some dude in a big hat down at the airport said no this is what you get guys this, you know you do it at your own peril here and, and the thing is there's so many other places here that don't pull this baloney but yet they're going to blame it on a slogan oh we got to love the philippines now or love this or love that they're not gonna they're not gonna point the finger right here where it belongs they're gonna blame it on a slogan <laughs> guys it, 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 you just can't make this stuff up you know I'm gonna be so glad when we're wheels up and the heck out of here I uh, I just can't believe the the coops that we're having to do just to get out so but we've got uh, I've got one of my bags completely packed uh, Maddie's clothes are all done I got some more clothes here Faye went and bought them a a bunch of new underwear and socks and stuff like that and some uh, some nice clothes I said, don't go don't spend too much money on that stuff because we'll get stuff in the states too and and uh, and you know just let's just get him stuff that'll get him going and uh, we're hoping that this all works out and we clear it and get out you know get out in a timely fashion we're gonna be there th four hours early you know just to be sure I'm still going to do that online thingy. Uh, one of my subscribers, I'm sorry, I can't uh, remember right now. I got so much going on in my mind. I'd have to look at the phone. <clears throat> but he sent me a step-by-step -step on how to get out. And he needed that little squiggly box thing that goes on your phone. The online exit thingy. They asked for it. So now his case might have been different than mine. I'm not sure. You know, too many offices give you too many things to do. And it gets a little bit aggravating. And uh, personally, you know, they, it, it just seems so deliberate, the crap that they pull on you. And then they wonder, oh, I wonder why people aren't coming back here. Uh, I left in 2016. I didn't have to do any of this crap. Now, you know, now it's just hoop after hoop. We're, we have to be like a trained circus monkey jumping through hoops with fire on our butts. You know. This is. Uh, I'm I'm just flabbergasted at these people that they're they're uh, they're doing so much to make it so difficult. You gotta you gotta have a test before you come in here, and who knows? 
they could they could wave their magic wand tomorrow and say you got to have a jab sorry and you better have all your boosters and then they're going to blame it on a slogan <laughs> you watch you know our, their slogan should be uh do as we say and shut the hell up and give us your money uh it's what it seems like but uh i i don't know i just i hope i hope it all turns around here and they can get this stuff straightened around like all the other countries do you don't have any of this hassle in uh thailand even laos i just talked to somebody about uh, a fellow that went to laos and uh you know and here also they make a big fuss that you know because it's so much english and all that nah they give you this blank stare and you'll say i want this or that and they just they go brain dead and then your wife will tell them the exact same thing and they get it you know it's like they're they're already pre-programmed against conos you know which which really sucks and i'm not saying they're all that way but most that's what you run into you get into a place where they don't know you you know somebody said something about when the kids grow up you know they're going to have that uh lighter skin american look it's going to be better for them yeah that's going to be better for the people who know them closely but when they get into the city they're going to be labeled econo guys they they don't look like my wife they look like me and they're gonna they're never going to be treated as a, a filipino doesn't matter what color their passports so we'll also have his passport uh, we got all three of the kids his passports and uh, we'll have should have them on the 12th we got the receipts all in the bag uh, ready to get them and uh, you know we're just we're just trying to get the heck out you know and this is the this is the hoops they should call this hoopville you know uh, because that's basically what you're what you have to go through to get out of here and they're and they're rigid guys when it comes to this stuff they're absolutely 100 percent rigid we had uh birth certificates that were made that were from the hospital nope those aren't accepted you got to get the the government approved one that's got the extra little stamp thing on it and the little dot and the t's are crossed and all this stuff you can't ever go to do one thing in one day here because as soon as you get there in front of this guy and it may be different from the guy you're talking to or the next girl over in the next window she might have a totally different thing that she makes you do but this this is what you're going to run into so when my wife was getting some stuff she had to leave there go to the national statistics office and get birth certificates and one thing she is smart about that she got a whole bunch of them so i got a set of uh, copies well they're not copies they're from the national statistics office and uh she's got extras here you know so because they don't accept copies of anything guys they don't want to see them so you know you're just kind of screwed uh, so I, I'd be honest with you I'm gonna say it again uh, you, you come here do it at your own peril because uh, I'm not I don't think I'm the only one warm warning everybody you got the uh, uh, Jennifer Terry Filipino P they got a whole bunch of other of these uh, vloggers that are and they're Filipino are saying hey you know and they, they they don't seem to care you know they want the tourist money but the people who are running these offices you you better have all your papers right you know and the other the other thing that made me laugh this is just a quirk I'm not saying it's bad or good or not but every time they give you your papers back they staple them all together and then when you get them to the next window they take all the staples out and then they read them and then they put them all back together and staple them up and hand them back to you <laughs> I just it was it was just so funny i was watching this going on in every window and i'm thinking who's got the staple concession you know there must be somebody that mandated that because they do it all the time so very very uh, unusual i would say but uh all i say please please give a prayer for these uh, little guys and us that we get through this smoothly uh and I'm still I still got my stomach in my throat because I don't know if they're gonna let me go I really don't this is this is how it goes here you're never sure of anything when you're in this country so be wary of that and don't forget to pray for each other and this is Rick Shaw out Rick Shaw!